Hi, I'm Dr. Seema Sharma and I'm founder director of Srishti Femcare. In today's video, I want to talk to you about three tips wherein you can increase your chances of normal delivery. Well, we, when we get pregnant, the ultimate goal is to have a normal delivery without any complications through the vaginal route because having said that, vaginal delivery is extremely uh, good for the body if it is conducted well. Um, so a lot of uh, patients keep asking me, doctor, how do I increase my chances of normal delivery? I have my three tips for them. Uh, one, well, the preparation for a normal delivery should start early on, preferably in the pre-pregnancy state. Now, pre-pregnancy preparation can only start in couples who try and conceive at will. When a conception is accidental, that doesn't work. Uh, but by pre-pregnancy preparation, I mean uh, keep your weight in the normal BMI range and start doing some kind of fitness training so you are physically fit when you, are, when you conceive. Uh, because if you have diabetes or if you have high blood pressure, you have thyroid up and down, you know, you will, uh, you're more likely to put on too much body weight and uh, obesity and high BMI is definitely a negative point to achieve normal delivery. So as I said, one is a, a pre-pregnancy or an early pregnancy preparation. Uh, second is please use Indian toilet. <laughs> Why I, uh, I have mentioned is because a lot of people ask me that, you know, my mother did the same. She never ran in the parks and, you know, she was able to achieve a normal delivery. And my answer is, well, those times people had Indian toilets into, in their homes. So by default, they would be in a squat position at least five to seven times in a day. And, you know, that would push the baby down by using gravity and you would use your pelvic muscles more often. So they developed as well. So, can, you know, if you compare a person who's just sitting on a chair uh, in an office and not really sitting on, uh, on, on, your, on your feet, uh, now, when we advocate, like we say, okay, duck walk, pocha lagao, and other stuff, which is essentially a modified version of a squat. Uh, and also, uh, you know, if you start doing this early on, you know, there is a higher chances that the baby would just pull in, get pulled into the pelvis with gravity, and you would have, um, you know, you don't have to push it all during labor. So, labor is shortened, you're more likely to. Uh, you know, uh, be able to uh, utilize those many hours and which are easy for the body. Uh, and, I, and I, my uh, last tip is uh, be mentally ready for a normal delivery. A lot of my patients, you know, in the, the first antenatal would tell me, you know, doctor, I don't want to deliver vaginally. I don't want to have normal delivery. Well, at that point, there hasn't really been any negative uh, con you know risk factors to a normal delivery but still they would tell me they don't want clearly they have heard gory stories and you know they feel they will not be able to do it or they will not be able to tolerate pain well believe me I <laughs> keep telling patients nobody dies of labor pains and you know you are not delivering in a jungle anymore uh, we will give you pain relief we will give you uh, we will try and make you as comfortable yes labor pains are difficult you know they are not the easiest uh, but you know, if you're in labor eight to 10 hours and you're living for 80 years, that's a very minuscule part of your life that you are uncomfortable. So if you tell your mind that you will be able to do it, you will be able to do it. So a mental preparation is very important. We recommend definitely uh, self suggestions that yes, you can do it. If, if a laborer can do it, you can definitely do it. Uh, you know, it's not really a great thing. You just have your physical preparation, do your squats, do your exercises and just be mentally there at the time you know that there is time to push just, just don't give up having said that i also want to emphasize that please don't make normal delivery a martyrdom if the labor pains are fraught with dangers for you like you have a heart disease or you have issues or it can be dangerous for your baby um, we would suggest you not to have normal delivery by normal delivery or i mean to say a vaginal delivery so if your doctor says, well, it's not really in the best interest of the mother and the baby, do not fight for it. No, no, I definitely want to have a normal delivery. Listen to your doctor. She is the best judge as to uh, what, is, uh, what is best for you at this time. But you must prepare yourself if you want to have a normal delivery. Because without preparation, I don't think you can achieve normal delivery, which is very difficult because 
um a lot of my patients you know keep waiting till the eighth month is over because you know the elders or somebody else some friend will say oh no no eighth month ye nahi karo wo nahi karo abhi exercise mat karo let the eighth month get over then really where is the time to prepare yourself you who have not done anything before you have not really exercised you are overweight and on top of that you wish to wait till the eighth month is over then really how you you just barely have three to four weeks and it is very difficult to get into shape uh, and to uh, utilize your to exercise your pelvic muscles to an extent where uh, you know they can bear with you during labor so please start early is my advice and uh, do something in that squat position either you use indian toilet or you do regular squats right from the beginning it does not cause preterm labor uh, that position and all it does it just pulls the head down with gravity but on the other hand if your doctor says well there is a risk to bleeding there is a risk of uh, preterm labor or you've had a cervical stitch well then obviously you will get an advice not to do that so couple of things and you should be able to achieve that thank you